hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have 5 times of n plus 15 is equals to 5 to the power of n and we will solve this problem for the values of n so uh, in this problem i can use a nice method which is named as uh, wolf alpha function or lambert w function so here I can apply or I can solve this problem for the help of alpha uh, wolf alpha function or its other name is Lambert W function Lambert W function so uh, first i can little bit uh, introduced uh, this uh, lambert w function so the lambert w function which uh, is in this form w of n into e power n it is equals to n if you have uh, under the sign of w n times of e to the power of n so here you see that uh, the exponent of e is multiplied by here then we can write it as only n so now we can use uh, this function in order to solve this problem so the very first thing we are going to do is here first we will take a common 5 in the left hand side and you will uh, write it here 5 times of uh, n plus 3 is equals to 5 to the power of n and now in the next step we can just divide both of the sides by 5 to the power of n so when you can divide both of the sides by n then it will becomes in the form of 5 over 5 to the power of n into n plus 3 is equals to 5 to the power of n over 5 to the power of n and here you see that 5 to the power of n in the right hand side are cancelled by each other and here you can use the nice exponential law and you see here the exponent of 5 is 1 so that its bases are same so the exponent n will be subtracted by 1 so we can write it as 5 times of 1 minus n uh, into n plus 3 is equals to 1 and after this step uh, we can just uh, multiply both of the sides by minus 1 here I can do all the steps uh, in which I can just make our given a uh, function in this form e to the power of n and n is multiplied by here so that I can work all this because of in order to make uh, uh, the function in this form so that here I can multiply uh, both of the sides by minus 1 so when you can multiply both sides by minus 1 it will become in the form of um, 5 to the power of 1 minus n into here you have n plus 3 when we multiply it by n you will get it here minus n minus 3 is equals to minus 1 and now here you have minus n minus 3 now we can uh, do minus n minus 3 in the uh, in the exponent of 5 so that uh, here we again uh, multiplied by 5 to the power of minus 4 so when you can multiply 5 to the power of minus 4 so that it will becomes in the form of 5 to the power of minus 4 into 5 to the power of 1 minus n into minus n minus 3 is equals to minus of 5 to the power of minus 4 and now we can a uh, little bit simplification here and here you see that bases are same so that we can just add its exponent and here you see that we have minus 4 plus 1 and it is equals to minus 3 and minus n into minus n minus 3 is equals to minus 5 times of minus 4 and now we can uh, use here uh, uh, the logarithm on both of the sides so here i can take the help of logarithm and we will write the left hand side of this function as here first i can write this uh, minus n minus 3 and i can uh, write this expression as e to the power of uh, log of uh, 
5 to the power of minus 3 minus n and this whole equation is equals to 5 to the power of minus 4 here I, uh, I can just use here uh, the property of log and here you see that if you have e to the power of uh, log a then it is equals to a because this e and log are cancelled by each other and you will get here e so now we can use here this property so uh, in the next step uh, uh, I can use the property of logarithm and here you have exponent minus 3 minus n it will become in the front of this log and it uh, will be written as um, minus n minus 3 into e to the power of here we move this in the front of this log and you get to minus n minus 3 into log of 5 and this whole equation is equals to minus 5 times of uh, minus 4 and now we can just uh, uh, you see here the exponent of e is minus n minus 3 into log 5 and here we have minus n minus 3 and here we need log 5 so that we will multiply both of the sides by log of 5 in order to make the given function in the form of wolf alpha function or lambert w function so that I can multiply both of the sides by log of 5 then you will get here log of 5 into minus n minus 3 into e to the power of uh, I can write log 5 first and into minus n minus 3 and its right hand side is minus times of log 5 into 5 to the power of minus 4 and now you can see here we will make uh, the given function in the form of uh, wolf alpha function so that its left hand side uh, will or i can just take here w on both of the sides so when you can uh, take uh, w on both of the sides of this function then it will be written in this form here i can just apply this w on both of the sides so when you can apply w on both of the side it will become the uh, wolf alpha function or lambert w function so that according to this function i can just uh, write its output only this uh, if you have the exponent of e is multiplied by here then uh, its output will become the exponent of e and the exponent of e is log of 5 into minus n minus 3 is equals to w of minus log 5 into 5 to the power of minus 4 so uh, now in the next step we will work on the right hand side so that uh, the left hand side will be written in as it is and here we have log 5 times of n minus 3 is equals to here you have w of minus times of log 5 and we can write uh, this expression as 5 to the power of minus 5 into 5 because here when you can add uh, its exponent you will get here minus 5 and uh, now we can write uh, this expression as w of uh, we can write this 5 here and you will write minus 5 times of uh, log 5 into we can write log and anti log here and you will get e to the power of uh, uh, log into 5 to the power of uh, minus 5 and now in the next step we will use here the nice property of logarithm uh, here and you will get w of minus 5 times of log 5 into e to the power of minus 5 times of log 5 and here you see that again we have uh, the exponent of e is multiplied by here so its output will be written in the form of minus 5 times of log 5 and in the left hand side we have log 5 into minus n minus 3 and now in the next step you can see here this log 5 is cancelled by here and you will get minus n minus 3 is equals to minus 5 and we move this minus 3 on the right hand side and you will get here minus 5 plus 3 and finally you will got 
uh, n is equals to minus 2 and finally we have the conclusion or answer is n is equals to 2 so n is equals to 2 be the uh, final solution of this problem and this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos